Have you calmed down a bit? Why are you trying to interfere with Phone Master Ion's efforts to prevent war? Ah, <sighs> are you still saying that? She's wrong, isn't she, Master? But the six God Generals are trying to kidnap Ion. Calm down, Tyr. I have no idea why the Phone Master is even here to begin with. All I've heard from the Order is that Ion vanished from the Cathedral in Doth. I'm sorry, Van. I did that of my own volition. I'd appreciate it if you'd fill me in on what's happened up until now. I'm the one who took Ion away. Allow me to explain. I see. I do command the six God Generals, but they are part of the Grand Maestro faction. It's likely they're under orders from Grand Maestro Mose. I see now. You may have been recalled to steal Ion back from the Malkuth military. Yes, perhaps so. The one who attacked you earlier, Ash, is also one of the six God Generals. But even I didn't know he was involved in this matter. Then are you saying you have nothing to do with all of this? No. Considering I was unaware of what my own troops were doing, I must take some responsibility. But I don't side with the Grand Maestro faction. That's news to me, Commandant. I'm the leader of the Six God Generals, so people tend to assume I side with the Grand Maestro. For that matter, Tyr, you're part of the Intelligence Division under the Grand Maestro's command. Why are you here? I'm searching for something under orders from Moe's. I can't say any more than that. The Seventh Phone Stone? I'm not at liberty to say. The Seventh Phone Stone? What's that? What? Quit looking at me like I'm stupid. Talk about a sheltered life. It's part of the score that Yulia read 2,000 years ago. The world's future is written within. The score was so long it took up seven phone stones, each the size of a mountain. Eventually the stones broke apart. Some became the phone belt you see in the sky, others fell to the earth. Malkuth and Kimlaska both tried to claim the stones that fell to land, and that led to war. Because, if you have the phone stones, you can learn the future. Huh. So the thing with the seventh score written on it is called the seventh phone stone, huh? It's said that Yulia hit the seventh herself after she read the score. Therefore, numerous powers have been searching for the seventh phone stone. And that's what Tyr is looking for now? Maybe, maybe not. At any rate, I have nothing to do with Moe's. I'll order the six god generals not to interfere with you all. Though I don't know how much good it will do. Van, what about passports? Oh yes, Duke Fabra has entrusted me with temporary passports. With the spares I brought just in case, there are just enough for all of you. Now we can cross the border. You should get some rest here before you go. I'll go on ahead across the border and ready a ship. So we'll meet up at the Kite Sewer Naval Port? Right. Once you cross the border, just follow the sea and you'll be there shortly. Don't get lost now. See? I told you Master Van wasn't doing anything wrong. I don't trust him. Oh yeah? Well, I don't trust you. That's fine with me. Nice friendly relationship you two have there.
Passports, please. Have a safe journey. These passports! We received direct orders from His Majesty the King to let you through immediately. We're finally back in Kimlaska. Don't relax yet. The vacation's not over until you're actually home. Yeah, I'll pass on any more vacations like this. It's been a while since I visited Kimlaska. The Kitesur Naval Port is south of here, right? Come on, Luke. Let's go. What's going on? That sounds like a monster. That's one of Gloomietta's pets. Gloomietta? <laughs> Arietta! The God General Arietta the Wild. Uh, okay, okay! I get it! Stop touching me! It flew from the direction of the harbor. Let's go. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself, Guy, but we'd best be going. Get her away from me! Oh. Arietta, who gave you permission to do this? I knew it was you, Gloomietta. Stop causing trouble for people. You all? I am not gloomy. You're mean, Annis. What happened here? Arietta unleashed her monsters on the ship. Commandant, I'm sorry. Ash asked me to. Ash? Take away the engineer who can repair the ship. 
If you want him back, Luke and Ion have to come to Coral Castle. If they don't come, they'll kill him! Van, how's the ship? Out of commission, I'm afraid. With our engineer kidnapped, we'll have to wait for the training ship to return. What's this Coral Castle that Arietta mentioned? It's Duke Fabra's vacation home. I heard he abandoned it when the front line of the previous war drew near. Huh, really? Luke, come on! Coral Castle is where they found you when you were kidnapped seven years ago. I told you I don't remember anything from back then. Maybe I'll remember something if I go there. There's no need for you to go. Wait for the training ship to return to port. I'll deal with Arietta myself. But that means we'll be ignoring Arietta's demands. Isn't preventing war what's important right now? Luke, take Phone Master Ion and return to the border. There's nothing here but simple rest facilities. I'll remain here and put a stop to Arietta. Y yes, sir. Master Ion, please wait! What business do you have with the Phone Master? The man Arietta the Wild kidnapped is our maintenance chief. Please, Phone Master, you have to save the chief. The chief faithfully upholds the score. He's a devout follower of the Order of Lorelei. He was relieved when this year's birth score stated that calamity would be avoided. Please! All right. Are you sure? Arietta told me to come. I agree with Ion. And you called me soft. If we abandon one, the score is foretold will be saved from calamity, we will be ignoring the score. That would go against Julia's teachings, and... And? Never mind. It is true that the score should be upheld. Um, I think we should go to Coral Castle, too. If you're going to Coral Castle, I'll go with you. There's something there I'd like to investigate. Arietta's female, you know. D don't remind me. Are you going too, Master? No way am I going. Arietta said for you to come as well. Please don't abandon the Chief. He has a family in Baticle. All right, all right, I'll go. Are you happy now? Why do I have to bother with this? Thank you so much! Coral Castle is southeast of here, along the coast. Please, take care! Well, you heard him. Shall we be going? I thought you were against going to Coral Castle. Nope. Either way is fine by me. What the... I don't get you at all.
this is the place they found me in? It's falling apart. It looks haunted. Does it bring back any memories? Like from when you were kidnapped? You can't remember anything from your childhood, can you, Luke? Well, my memories really only start from the point I got back to the manor seven years ago. That's so sad. I'll help you get your memory back. Something's not right. No one's lived here for ages, but there are signs of recent activity. Monsters. I can feel them. The chief engineer must be inside. Let's take a look. So this was our vacation home, huh? Luke, don't stray too far from the group. I know, I know. Shut up already. Luke! Luke, behind you! Huh? That's why I told you to keep close. Because you were careless, our formation was broken, and we didn't have time to prepare for battle. I hope you learned your lesson. Shut up! How was I supposed to know that? And what the hell was that thing, anyway? It's a phone tech doll designed to eliminate intruders. This is a relatively recent model, though it looks like it has seen better days. Oh, Luke, I was so scared. With monsters like that around, you've got to pay attention. Okay, okay, I'll be careful. Jeez, enough.
What the hell? What's this weird machine doing in our vacation home? Is this...? Colonel, do you know what it is? No, I can't be sure. And even if I were... What? Has it got something to do with me? I can't be certain yet. Give me a little more time to think about it. I think this is the first time I've ever heard you sound nervous about something. There's something I'm concerned about as well. If what's troubling you is related to Luke's kidnapping... a startled reaction. What's wrong? I'm sorry. My body just reacted. Sorry about that, Annis. Are you alright? Yeah. Did something happen? That didn't look like a mere aversion to females. I'm sorry. I really don't know. I wasn't like this as a kid. But there's a part of my memory that's completely missing. The cause may lie there. Your memory is messed up too? I don't think it's the same thing. I'm only missing the memory from a single moment. How do you know it's just one moment? I know. The only thing that's missing is the memory of when my family died. Enough about me. I want to hear what's on your mind, Colonel. Just as you'd rather not talk about your past, there are some things I wish not to talk about as well. Here's one. Luke, let's follow it. I'm going too. Wait, please don't hurt Arietta. Wait, it could be a trap. My, my, there they go. Impetuous little things, aren't they? They really could stand to use their heads a little. from the Bone Master Guardians was... 
Luke! Honestly, if only he'd be a little more careful. Oh, no! Dist is involved in this, too? Oh, brother. Oh, what are we going to do now? Hmm? Tear, did you say something? N no it's nothing. Let's hurry up and rescue Luke and the Chief. It's my fault! Now, now, calm down. If they're going to this much trouble, I doubt they intend to take his life. And the one they really want, Ion, is still with us. I see. Even the phonon frequency is the same. This is a perfect creation. That's not important. We have to erase the data before they come back. If the data here is that important, you shouldn't have had Ash use Coral Castle in the first place. That idiot came here on his own. We'll have to have Van punish him later. Oh look, this idiot here is finally coming around. No matter. I've already opened his synchronized phone slots. I'll be going now. I can't wait to analyze this data. <laughs> oh. What the hell did you do to me? I see no reason to answer that question. What? You... Guy, what is it? Damn it, they're here! This was an unauthorized mission. It's too bad I can't kill you myself, but I'll leave it in Arietta's capable hands. She's on the roof with the hostage. Hope you enjoyed our little game. Whew. What the hell was all that? What is it, Guy? Oh, nothing. I got hold of a strange phone disc, so I was just wondering what it was. Let's have Jade look into it later. Are you okay, Luke? What in the world did they want to kidnap you for? How should I know? Why the hell does this stuff always happen to me? It's Arietta's fault. She's going to pay for this. She's on the roof, right? I hate running around like this, but we have no choice. Let's go. I'm not falling for that again. Luke, you're amazing! Not bad for you. Oh, give it a rest. You shot fire at my friend! I'm really gonna make you pay now. Shut up already. You've caused enough trouble, you little brat. I don't care. I'm going to kill you all and take back Ion. You killed Mommy! Now you die!
child, but don't discount your ability to use monsters. I knew letting her live would come back to haunt us. Wait! I'll take Arietta back for an inquiry before the Order of Lorelei. So please, don't take her life! Yes. That would be best. Master! There was no word of the Phone Master's arrival in Kitesur, so I came here just in case. I'm sorry, Van. There's no point in dwelling on what's already been done. I'll take Arietta into my custody. Is that all right with you? Yes, please do, and please treat her wounds. How do you plan to explain her crimes to His Majesty and the military? We will follow proper order procedure, punish her, and issue a report. That's how lawful society operates. I have soldiers and a coach from Count Almondine, the Kitesur commander. I'll escort the maintenance chief home as well. What will you do, Ion? I'd prefer you to come with me, but... It seems some of us are interested in this castle, but... I want to take the coach. Then again, some of us have other ideas. It seems we'll be joining you. Understood. The remaining maintenance crew members have already begun repairs. All that's left is for the rescued maintenance chief to repair the engines. Leave those engines to me. I'll get them in top shape and deliver you all safely to Casedonia. Thank you. I'll report the matter of Arietta to Commander Almondine. Phone Master, please come by later at your convenience.
Ah, look! It's good to see you again. You don't remember me? I visited your mansion in Batacool once when you were young. I'm Almondine. Sorry, don't remember you. Oh well, you were still a small boy at the time. Phone Master, I've informed Count Almondine about the incident with Arietta. Please forgive my servant's mistakes. I hope I can expect Doth to deal with the matter in good faith. Say, could you send a message to my father? A message? If we use a carrier pigeon, I believe we could get a message there before you arrive. But... That's fine. Tell him I'm bringing Phone Master Ion and Colonel Jade Curtis of Malkuth, and that... Luke, your lack of prudence is truly astounding. Colonel Curtis? You mean to say this is Jade the Necromancer? That's correct. My deepest apologies for not introducing myself. I carry a letter of peace on behalf of His Majesty, Peony the Ninth, Emperor of Malkuth. Your entourage is smaller than I would expect. We've suffered a great deal of interference. I hope you can forgive us. These guys saved me. Put in a good word for them. All right. I'll send a carrier pigeon to the mainland at once. The ship will be ready to leave by tomorrow, so please, get some rest here in port tonight. Thank you. Master Luke, Dorian General Grants wishes to see you. He asks that you wait on the deck. Master Van? Okay. Do you remember when the two of us first met Luke? I told you I don't remember any of that. That was before I was kidnapped. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're completely different. Huh? Uh, I'm just glad you're you. Arietta the Wild is being held here on the charge of treason against the Phone Master. We ask that you avoid any unnecessary contact. won't incur King Ingerbert's disfavor and cause negotiations to fall through. Don't worry, I'll explain everything to my uncle. I'll ask father and mother to help, too. 
That's right. Your mother is His Majesty's younger sister. Yep, so relax. Can I ask you a weird question? What? What do you think of Tyr? I'd say she's my type. Oh, I see. I hope I fill out like Tyr. Then maybe I'll be good enough for you. Right now, I'm still a kid, but I love you, Luke. Ah, don't say weird stuff like that. You're so cute, Luke. So you weren't actually a true seventh phonist after all. I remember you talking about seventh phonists before. What does that mean anyway? Didn't your tutors teach you? How should I know? I don't remember. But you lost your memory seven years ago, right? How many you studied since then? I had a lot of other things I had to learn, like my parents' faces. All matter contains phonons, basic particles of sound. Phonons are divided into six elements. What, you decided to explain after all? Combining phonons with memory particles from the planet's core yields an enormous amount of energy. A device was made to supply fuel to the world by passing those particles through the phone belt. That's what's known as the planet storm. Sounds complicated. So... The planet storm caused a mutation in the six phonon elements and the memory particles. And that was the birth of the seventh phonon. Those who use it to perform phonic arts are called seventh phonists. I don't know what to make out of that story, but I'm no phonist. But you caused a hyper-resonance with me. You're capable of using the seventh phonon. That's something you're born with. Now that you mention it, Jade... Right. There are very few seventh phonists. Scores, those who read the score, and healers are both seventh phonists. So basically it means special phonists who use a special phonon. I'm sorry. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? I don't think I've been taking your memory loss very seriously. I've been unkind to you this whole time. I'm ashamed of myself. It, it's okay. It's not really a... I'm really sorry. controlling me? What the hell are you? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. What's going on? No, stop! Luke, calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. That's it. Now focus your mind on the tips of your fingers. Luke, Listen to my voice. Now relax, just like that. Are you all right, Luke? What... what happened to me? I would presume a hyper-resonance occurred. A hyper-resonance? You mean that thing that blew us to Tataru Valley? Yes, that was also the power of hyper-resonance, though in an incomplete form. Master, what's happening to me? Haven't you ever wondered about your kidnapping? And the way you've been forbidden to leave the mansion? Well, that's because, you know, my father's worried about me. No. It's to keep you, the only person in the world who can cause a hyper-resonance on his own, on a short leash here in Kimlaska. Wait, Master, hold on. I don't understand what you're saying, 
Just what is hyperresonance anyway? A hyperresonance is a power that occurs when two seventh phonons interact. It can destroy and reform any matter. Normally, it occurs only under special conditions, with two seventh phonists present. But I can cause it by myself? Like what just happened? Yes. With training, you could control it at will. It would be useful in war. Your father and the king both know that. That's why Malkuth wanted you. Are you saying I've been held captive in my own home as a weapon? Wait, do they plan to keep me this way my whole life? Well, your engagement to Princess Natalia means your holding cell will likely change to the castle. I refuse to accept that. Yeah, it can be annoying outside, but staying trapped in my home just to be used in some war? Calm down, Luke. First, we avert the war. Then we let everyone know of that success. If we do that, it will establish your status as a hero who preserved the peace. At the very least, you should be set free from your unfair imprisonment. You think so? You really think so, Master? Don't worry. Have confidence in yourself. You've been chosen. The power of hyper-resonance will make you a hero. A hero? Me, a hero? Looks like we've arrived. Here, we'll change ships for one headed to Batical. Cheer up, Luke. A sullen face isn't becoming of a future hero. Right. I'll bid you farewell here. I have to turn Arietta over to the Inspector and Doth. What? I want you to come with us. I'll head for Batical later. Don't be selfish, Luke. But... The ship leaves port from the Kimlaskan side. Inquire at the Kimlaskan Consulate. I'll see you again in Batical. Tyr, please look after Luke for me. Oh, right. Thing. But he's so cute.